driving in noticing that what used to be the oil mill is now four piles of rubble. How, where are we on that? When's that going to be cleared out? Well, the rubble that you're seeing is concrete, and what they plan to do is they're going to grind that concrete up and reuse it. So they're trying to re reuse what they can, so it'll be used as a base for, you know, road paving and that kind of thing, and uh, you know, whatever they do, either there or you know, with the Shaney Cotton Mill, which is also being uh, renovated and all at this at this time. So once they get that ground up, they're going to put grass right there for now. Uh, I would say that's probably what they're going to happen. I can't say that for sure, but I would think that's what the plan is going to be because it'll be quite a while before you see any real development in there. Because the, you know we're working on a, a, a small area plan over there, and uh, we'll be going back and forth with a lot of that. And we've already had uh, some input from the public here, and we'll hope to have more and more of that, and try to try to determine what everybody really wants over there you know, that kind of thing. So um, it'll be a while, I think, before you really see anything there other than just, uh, you know, a, a grassy field problem. And the uh, Shaney Project's a little further along, right? Shaney Project's a lot further along. You know, the Shaney Project <clears throat> has really been going, along, going on for over five years now. Um, it's, you know, it looked like nothing was happening, but there's a lot to making it happen because you have to remediate all the hazardous materials that are there and you have to check all those boxes off with DHEC and EPA. And uh, so it takes a while to get all that done, get all the approvals and so on. So now they're, they're really, really starting it now. Um, or when I say now, they've, they've started it probably a month, month or so ago, really got going good on it. I don't know if you've ridden by there or not, but they made a lot of progress. It's really yeah, neat. Really. Council got to uh, take a tour of it the other night. And, uh, go through it. So uh, a lot of neat stuff. I think that's going to be a great project when it's over. Do they know when they might have it done? Um, I don't know exactly what his timeline is going to be on it. Uh, I would think at least a year. Yeah. And then there'll be housing and it's going to look, it's going to look like the old, the, the mill though, right? That's the, right. The brick and everything's going to look the same. Down. That's right. You, you'll notice they've taken all the windows out of it. All that's going to get replaced and that kind of thing. Everything get upgraded. It, it'll, yeah, it's going to be beautiful when it's over. Any other major projects like that going on right now? Well, you know, we're still uh, working on the uh, revitalization program over here on the west end and going into the next phase of it, which will include some more areas over there and also um, North Mechanic. So, so we have that going. And of course, you mentioned the oil mill. Um, we also have a road realignment project we're doing on 76. Uh, we'll be realigning uh, Westinghouse Road with Sweeney Circle. and. Uh, the uh, reasoning behind that is to keep traffic off 76, make it easier to get around because that'll allow you to go into the shopping center from say Lebanon Road, the other side of town without getting on 76. You'll just be able to go straight across there and uh, you'll be able to go around on Sweeney and go right into the shopping center. Or if you wanted to come from 187, you could come from 187 up Dalton Road, get on Sweeney Circle, go right into the shopping center or go back across Westinghouse to the other side of town, still never getting on 76. Uh, along with that improvement and the realignment, you're gonna see a, a crosswalk there. So uh, we ho hope to uh, get that t get that going too. They're also gonna improve the grade of the road right there and just make it safer for people to get from one side of the road to the other. People are going across the road now with, you'll see them sometimes with a shopping cart because a lot of folks have no way to get get to the grocery store, say where food line, all that is, um, other than just walk. You know, they don't have a car. And uh, and right now they just take their life in their hands going across that road. So this will this will give them a way to get across the road a little safer as well. And uh, along with that realignment, you're going to see some more uh, commercial go in with that at that corner on the Swaney Circle side. Um, you'll have a what we what we know to be a Whataburger going in on that corner and also I think a bank. So be a little more commercial growth going in there too. How long is all that going to take? Um, it probably won't start until some sometime around September of this year. Um, by the time everything gets done, crews get mobilized and all that, that's just my guess. So I think you'd see it by, I don't know, maybe certainly by the middle of, of next year. I would think. So pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think it'd be too, too long, much longer than that, but I'm, I'm no expert and it depends on a lot of things, the weather and delays and whatever, as you know. Any update on the TIF district stuff? Yeah, the TIF district still moving along. You know, we issued the bond on it. Uh, we're getting started with it. It's kind of in its uh, infancy right now, I guess you would say. But so 
Next step is to get in there and get the infrastructure fixed, you know, fix the roads, fix the water and the sewer and all those things. And uh, then after that's done, then they can start, you know, can start getting developed and, and built out. And, uh, but it'll, it'll take a while. It's not anything that's gonna happen overnight, but, it, yeah, but the ball's rolling on it. And that, that will also determine the fire station, new fire station stuff, right? Some of that? Right, yeah, that, the, the uh, idea is to um, build a new fire station, you know, out of that TIF. Um, so, but again, it, it won't be overnight. It'll take it a while. Um, and of course, also, I guess our biggest project right now would be the upgrade of our waste treatment facility. Um, that's uh, going to take our plant from a two million gallon per day plant to a five million gallon per day plant. And um, the cost of that is going to be somewhere around $62 million. Um, and of course, we have partners in that with us. We have the city of Clemson, who's been an O&M partner. Uh, I shouldn't use this acronym so much, but it's operation and maintenance. Um, they've been a partner in the plant, but we own the plant. And we also have Anderson County, same thing there. They're a partner in the plant. Um, so they're, they're helping with that upgrade. They're, they're paying their share of that upgrade. Our share of the upgrade, I think, is around $23 million. So uh, we won't have to pay the whole 62. But that's something we've got to do. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you're probably going to see some water rates go up with, uh, with all of these three entities. I would say Clemson, Anderson County, and ST. It's just a cost of doing business these days. But we've got to protect the environment. We've got to make sure we've got capacity for people. How's the town budget looking for the year ahead? Well, uh, we're getting ready soon to ho hopefully get it passed for the second and final reading. And uh, How big is the budget this year? That should be coming up on uh, the 20th. Well, um, and I don't know where it's going to end up, but we are adding a lot of things. Um, I think that'll be good. Uh, we're going to expand our police department. So we're going to have two and a half more policemen. You say, how do you have half a policeman? But, uh, a little short person? <laughs> yeah, a little short guy or gal. Um, so, uh, but we, we're going to have probably that person will be dedicated to the downtown here, especially during the weekends, you know, because we just have a lot of people in here on the weekends, kind of traffic control and just see what's going on. And uh, along those lines, not to jump around too much on you, but um, we also are, are as part of our strategic plan, we council met for uh, quite a quite a while with at a retreat, and we de developed a strategic plan that a lot of things are coming out of, and uh, we had a lot of input from a lot of stakeholders in the community as well as council and others, and um, we're 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 doing things like signage. We're we're trying to improve the signage. Parking, for instance, is one thing where you know a lot of people come in. There are places to park, but they don't know where they are. So we want to identify that clearly for them so they know where to go, know where to park, and uh, how to get there, you know, and those kind of things. So there's a lot of things coming out of that strategic plan that'll be good. We, uh, and, and in the budget, we, we are gonna have a community engagement director who will hopefully make us even more transparent than we are now and engage with the community so that we can communicate with them better and uh, let everybody know what's going on as much as possible all the time. We're doing as much as we can there. I send out a letter after every council meeting and you know, I have an ask the mayor um, a little get together where people can come and, and you know, ask questions or give us ideas, suggestions, uh, you know, fuss at us, whatever they want to do. Uh, so uh, we're trying to do as much as we can to be transparent. As you know, we live stream all of our meetings so you can watch it on TV even if you can't get there. But we want to be um, out in front about everything we do and as transparent as possible and uh, get as much input as we can because, uh, you know, that's very valuable to us to know what people want. We want, we want to give them what they want for the most part. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a lot of what we're doing now is trying to do that. And along with that, we'll have a new website coming in. So the website should be really good. We're spending a good deal of money on it and uh, it will be, um, I think, a lot better for people to be able to do things that they would have to normally go to town hall to do. If you wanted to open, set up a water account, if you want to do those kind of things, get information easily. Um, so again, we're just trying to make it easy to get information, easy to see what's going on, and uh, and that kind of those kind of things. Tell me what's going on. Uh, you mentioned mm -hmm. down here, y'all started your summer concert series, right? We did. Uh, well, really, this is the thing we call grooving on the green. It was last night, and uh, yeah, it's, it uh, went over well. We had a good crowd here last night, and I think everybody had a good time. 
So uh, we're going to be promoting more events like that downtown here uh, coming along. So I think that'll be a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's some of the things we're doing. How about recreation program? Now you've looked at expanding recreation. I'm glad you said that because you mentioned budget a while ago and I got off track. But um, yeah, the recreation program, we're spending some money on recreation this time in the budget as it stands right now. And it, we still have to have another rating as long as um, you know it, it goes the way it is. We're going to spend a lot more money on it. Um, it's still not as much probably as we need to have in it, but uh, we're going to try to improve it as much as we can and try to work with everybody, you know, hopefully the county, hopefully the school district, hopefully the volunteer organizations, the PRA, everyone is trying to do their part here to make it as good as we can and improve it because uh, it's a great investment, you know, it's great, it teaches kids life lessons and um, how to deal with adversity and a lot of things. I think there's a lot of value in the rec program. Um, is the demand so, growing too? Yeah, demand's growing because, you know, well, you know yourself. I mean, look around you. There's uh, all the growth we're seeing. Yeah, how many houses do y'all have? Do you have any idea how many houses? I couldn't tell you the number. I really couldn't. I know um, probably just from what's out there on 76, we probably added another thousand or so. But, uh, yeah, I think as you see people come in here more and more, the rec program's going to be more and more valuable. And, uh, you know, it's just a challenge to keep up with those things with the infrastructure. You know, we want to protect what we got. So we, another project we're working on is our UDO, which is a Unified Development Ordinance. And uh, so we want to make sure we have good rules in place as far as zoning goes to protect what we have now. Um, you know, we don't want to lose our historical character in the downtown. We, we want to maintain a really attractive, unique downtown, which is what it is now. So that's why we're doing that. You know, before the developers come, we're setting the rules so that when they come, they know what the rules are. So we're spending a lot of money to do that, but I think it's well worth it and it's gonna pay off in the long run. Um, uh, so that's a big part of what we do because Pendleton's such a special place. It's such a unique place and we wanna keep it that way. And of course okay. you got a new high school coming. New high school coming, I think that's a great thing. It's, 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 it's sorely needed. Again, look at the growth. You gotta have somewhere for those people to go to school and uh, we need to keep up with things and uh, that's that's the problem when you have growth is things like that and the infrastructure you know dealing with roads and traffic and you know all that and uh, that's really important so i'm hoping uh, you know everyone not only here in pendleton but countywide is going to pay attention to that because it's something that you need to pay attention to how important is hospitality tax to some of the things y'all do it's very important yeah, very important. Uh, it allows us to do a lot of things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do, for sure. And so does the growth. I mean, you know, coming in additional tax revenue, if, we're, if it weren't for the additional growth we've had, we'd really be in a sore spot right now. Uh, so that's a good thing for us for a small town um, because a lot of towns are just in, in a bubble and they can't, can't grow. Um, so that's a good thing, but uh, I think uh, we just need to pay attention, you know, to the growth too. We can't uh, let it get out of hand, I would say. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, that's just the best way I can put it. You need, really need to be careful of it because it is a double-edged sword. Uh, so you mentioned there is, you're going to have a new web page and stuff coming. When will that be up? Um, it's, it's, they're starting with it now. So, you know, I couldn't give you an exact date, but uh, hopefully not long. They're starting to work on it now. Yeah, that's going to be the best place in, to find all the information in yeah, one spot. I, I hope I hope so. I think it's going to be a big improvement because it's hard to get the information out. I mean, we try to get it's not that anybody's not trying to get the information out, but it's hard to get the information out sometimes. That gives people a place they know they can go and get it, hopefully. You know, so I think that's important because most people are online now, but you still have a faction of the population that's not online. So we'll still try to do the other things too. Put put things on our on our sign, the marquee. We got a couple of places we do that. You know, sometimes we'll put things on garbage cans when we go pick them up so that we can try to communicate with people that way. Send emails, you know, if we have people on their email list, we try to send things out and communicate with them like that. But uh, all that stuff's good. And uh, like I say, hospitality money helps us do a lot of things we're doing. You'd mentioned that, uh, but I think uh, about 12 years ago, our hospitality money coming in was around 25,000 a year. And now it's close to 400,000. So uh, we've made a huge leap in that. And uh, some of that can be used for police and different things, too. So it's a good thing. Well, we'll catch up in the fall. Sounds good, Greg. Good to see you today. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.